Hi, today we've got a video for those of you who enjoy working on your vehicles and the subject is this Think Diag2 diagnostic tool. So you may be familiar with the various code readers and that kind of thing that you can buy on Amazon and eBay and those are useful if the engine light comes up you can then plug in those code readers, see what the code is and then maybe have a stab at repairing the vehicle or you might just use that as a tool to work out whether or not to take it to the garage. This one is quite a lot more advanced than that. Although it can read codes, it does have a lot of additional functionality. So let's have a look at the listing on Amazon. So it's currently listing for £150 on Amazon at the moment, uh, but there is a £30 voucher, which if you tick that box, then basically you get it for £120 delivered. So this device has a Bluetooth transceiver in it and it's designed to work with your mobile phone or tablet device. It works with Android or Apple devices and it covers almost all vehicles, so over 120 different brands and it allows for quite a lot of additional functions other than just code reading. They've listed a few of them here, so the kind of things that you might want to do. So when I replaced the battery the other month, um, I had to tell the car that there was a new battery installed so it could reset all of the state of charge information, that kind of thing. You can do those resets from this device. You can do things like uh, DPF forced regeneration. So if your DPF filter is blocked, you can set it up to do an automatic forced regeneration. Injector coding, if you change your injectors, uh, especially on the latest ones, you will need to change the calibration for those so you can put the numbers in and program them through this device. So there's quite a lot of functions available through this. There's also things like graphing and that kind of thing available. And we'll take a look at that in just a moment. The device itself comes in a little carry case and it's two parts here really. So this is the actual diagnostic tool. It's got three LEDs exactly the same on each side. So it doesn't matter which way up it appears in your car. You can see what's going on. And then it comes with this lead that you plug into the top here. And then you can just screw that in. And then you plug this into your diagnostic port on your car. And the really nice thing is you can then just plug this in. And if you're using your tablet or your phone, even if you want to be under the hood of the car while you're doing the diagnostics, you can do. You can leave this plugged in and you're not tethered by a cable. So let's go and plug it into my vehicle and we'll have a look at the interface. Right, so we'll plug this into the OBD port. A couple of beeps. And then we've got some lights illuminated there. So power, vehicle and I.O. Let's start up the app. So here we are in the Think Car app. I've just installed this from the Play Store. Once you pair it with your device for the first time, you put in the serial number and the special code, and then basically you get one year of free updates on here for all your vehicles. And it's got three main sections on here, so all systems diagnostic, the maintenance functions, and the OBD functions. You can also print off some reports and stuff. But the OBD functions is very similar to what you'd get on a basic code reader. So we'll go into that first. It tries to connect through Bluetooth to the device, and there's a couple of beeps going on. Then it tries to work out what OBD protocol your car actually uses, and Ford, I think, used the first one in here, so it should be pretty quick to connect. And there we go, it's got the VIN number, no engine management light, no DTCs or anything like that, this car's all absolutely fine. And then you can go here and do some very basic functionality, so you can look at things like live data. So if we wanted to have a look at the ambient air temperature and the barometric pressure, we can do 20 degrees C, 101 kilopascals, so all the basic stuff. Um, but where we have the enhanced functionality on this app is with the All Systems Diagnostic. So this is the bit that you actually pay for if you want to do future updates after the one year has run out. We'll go down to Ford. Again, a couple of beeps as it connects to the device. And then we've got some significantly more advanced features in here. So basically it communicates to every module in your car, works out what's installed and what's not, and then it's able to read and talk to all of them through this software, which is really nice. It's actually quite fully featured. So we'll just wait for this to connect. And it's now connected. There's a few options here. Um, there's a few things like resetting key fob and stuff, but we want to go to automatically search and that'll work out what modules are in the car. Okay, so it's done all of that. We've got health reports. So it'll go through, scan each of the modules and see if there's any faults. And there's quite a few modules in some of these things. It'll probably pick up one or two things related to LED lamps fitted instead of incandescent. So we've got just two error codes here, one in the instrument panel cluster, I think that's because the radio is off at the moment. 
and then one for the passenger door module which is possibly to do with the lamps that I've replaced with LEDs let's have a look give me a moment and yeah the pedal light uh, it thinks is either blown or not fitted because I've replaced it with the LED and you can look at the snapshot data there which is probably the mileage at what it occurred yeah the mileage at the bottom and the ECU voltages and that kind of thing so you can try and work out when a fault occurred and also you're able to read uh, various data streams from each of the individual modules so it can really help with your diagnostics so this is the module that's in the door and if we go to the read data stream you can actually see the position of the mirrors uh, the window switch status that kind of thing turn signals so if we go here and have a look at the position of the mirror switch and press OK then we can see here in volts it's reading the position of those two switches so really handy for diagnostics of individual modules because many of these readers would only allow you to do diagnostics on the actual engine management unit so lots of uh, really useful stuff here there's also module programming so for example if you install a new module and it needs some uh, coding that kind of thing you can do that all in here special functions as well um, so we can go here these might be useful things if you're doing some maintenance on the car again so here you can change the fuel injector correction value so that's if you change the injectors you need to code them in uh, you know do things like resetting the DPF learn values if you replace the filter that kind of stuff so uh, all of the usual uh, features that you'd be able to do if you had a, a proper scan tool so really fully featured and then you have the additional maintenance functions these are the kind of things that you might want to do uh, which normally cost quite a bit of money to add on to the various scan tools so you've got things here like the headlight alignment uh, this is the battery reset which is what I had to do uh, the other month when I replaced the battery uh, things like bleeding the ABS system resetting the EGR positions programming key fobs uh, and that kind of thing so really quite a few functions in here that are really handy to have if you like doing any more involved stuff on your vehicle